10 straight night spearheaded a dramatic comeback. How were you able to hold Charlotte to 19 points and 28% shooting in the fourth quarter? Well, just, uh, you know, when you get down, the guys just kept battling and battling and, and uh, you know, really got after it defensively. You know, they, they, uh, uh, they did some switching. You know, they threw for Lance out there. Lance is great at, at stepping out and switching. And, uh, you know, we tried to deny Kemba when they did get it out of his hands. We tried to deny him the ball a little bit uh, uh, so he didn't get it back. Uh, and then, you know, the guys were just helping each other out. So uh, that's something that, hey, I love, I love it in the fourth quarter. I'd like to see it in the first and second quarter, though. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, just to go on that, more specifically at the second straight game with a slow start, especially pick and roll defense today, um, what's going on there? Well, uh, again, you know, it's, uh, uh, we have a scouting report we go over in the morning. Beginning, trying to figure out if the plan worked or not, because guys weren't doing necessarily the right things every time. Uh, and then what, ha what happens is when you don't rotate once and you get burned, now everyone's going, "Oh well, then I'll do this to, to help stop that." And now you get, you know, you get uh, out of whack that way. So, um, you know, we just got to we got to sharpen that up. We just got to get better uh, and, and be more focused. Like uh, you know, every every basket counts. Jeff, what did you think of what Chris Dash gave you late? And did you think that he was a bit fatigued later on in the game? Well, he didn't look like he had as much energy, but I thought the bench uh, did a great job of, of getting us into the game, cutting the lead down. We were able to give him a couple extra minutes. Um, you know, that uh, I didn't have to put him in at uh, you know the 10-minute mark. Uh, and I think we got him all the way down. We, we ended up calling timeout. It was under five. So uh, then he seemed to have good energy. So. Um, you know, the credit to the bench, Doug and Kyle, uh, giving some big minutes there to, uh, and of course Lance to uh, uh, give those guys some extra rest. Jeff, just to follow up with that about the bench itself, just how much were they responsible for the win? Well, um, they were big. Um, you know, they uh, when the game was at the 12 mark, uh, uh, they they uh, uh, made some big shots. Then <laughs> Lance hit that three coming out of the timeout. Uh, I think when KP just got back in the game. Uh, uh, that really cut it down there. So, um, you know, big credit to those guys. You know, our, our starters are, are playing well. Uh, when the bench plays well like that, too, we, we have good good chances to win. Uh, Jeff, uh, once again, uh, Frank is up, you know, for the fourth quarter. I mean, talk about the confidence you had in him, what you thought he did. He's playing against a really good player. Yeah, um, you know, it's a challenge. Uh, and, and Frank likes challenges. Uh, you know, again, it's... It's a little tough because he goes in at the you know end of the third quarter there, uh, and you know I probably should think about taking him out maybe at the eight minute mark and give him a little blow and then bring him back. But uh, he's young; he'll be all right. <laughs> uh, um, you know, and, and I think it's his defense with his length and his arms. Uh, <coughs> you know that that's helpful for us, and uh, you know plus you know I, I like the experience he's getting when these games are on the line. Uh, the plays he has to make, uh, even when you're tired. You know, there's going to be games back to back when you're dead tired, and somehow you're going to figure out how to win. And that's all part of his growing uh, uh, process. Coach, six and one over the last seven games. What is the most gratifying aspect of the team's play over the stretch? Well, I think that you know we're not giving up. You know, we've gotten down in some of these games. We had a game early. We had a lead, and, and uh, uh, gave it up. So you know, it's the emphasis that hey, keep playing. You know, it's not. Uh, uh, the game's not always won or lost in the first or second quarter. It's a 48-minute game, and uh, that's why I'm happy for these guys because they, they battle every day in practice. Even the guys that don't get in and are inactive, these guys are working hard every single day. And uh, uh, you know, for them to, to get these wins and see that if they just keep going and keep playing, uh, that they can pull these games out is it, great. Jeff, in the uh, last few minutes that you went not small with KP at the five and was one big on the floor. I know it's something you've been hesitant to do this year. So what made you decide to do that? Well, you know, we, we thought maybe with uh, Dwight Howard out there, uh, we could get some advantage. Um, uh, you know, Dwight's a monster inside, getting rebounds. Uh, we thought maybe KP with his length could help tip balls out of there defensively. Uh, but then on the offensive end, uh, uh, maybe that created problems. And you know, again, it was created a little problem because uh, you know he dove once. You know, KP's usually stepping out. He dove and it opened last wide open. So uh, you know, I, I like what uh, uh, KP does at the five. You know, we're not going to do that a lot, but in certain situations, maybe we can use that. What did you think of McDermott tonight? It was 
kind of what has he brought to you guys all year? Yeah, you know, he, he's in constant movement. Uh, you know, he's been able to see seven for eight tonight. Uh, hit a big three in the corner. Uh, that was huge for us. Um, and, you know, he's playing with more confidence now, I think, in the beginning of the year. You know, he's trying to feel his way. I think he's kind of found out how he can play with some of the guys. And the guys, the guys really look for him, too. You know, they know if he can get an open look, he's going to make it. Um, and then, uh, again, defensively, most of the times he's in the right spot. So uh, that, that was good for us tonight. Jeff, after the fast start by Chris Epps, it looked like they were pretty determined to get the ball out of his hands. When you guys, when he does that, he kind of goes quiet, and you guys still come back. Does that do something for a team grow? Well, you know, we, we can't always rely on KP. Uh, you know, we rely on him to make some big shots late, and he hit the three, and uh, got a, the, you know, obviously the, <coughs> the layup uh, at, the, at the buzzer. And that's, you know, that, that shot there was, gosh, just another sign of the greatness that he's becoming. Uh, he didn't get panicked. He knew exactly what was on the shot clock. He knew that he could get there and still get that layup off. And, you know, that's that uh, internal clock that you have of the shot clock. You know, he probably took a glance up and saw four seconds. He goes, okay, I know I can get there in four seconds. So, uh, you know, that was just a, a, a super smart play rather than just trying to shoot a, a fadeaway jump shot. Um, so, um, you know, he got off the, the, got the third foul, I think. Um, uh, but, you know, the other guys, the other guys stepped up along with him. All right, thank you, Coach.